Hello everyone, this is part two of three of Mystery Writer R.A.D. My name is Marcel Elfers. I'm a master profiler through written communication and author of Handwriting Analysis Principles. This writing is called printing and is generally disconnected. I'm not referring to how close the letters are. I am referring to the lack of connection strokes. These writers typically do not bond well with others. They avoid emotional expression and do not attach to emotional experiences. These writers are not necessarily loners. However, they are very independent and self-reliant. They are therefore indiv individualistic and likely in search for an identity. The neat and perfectionistic writing implies a focus on how they come over to others rather than presenting himself, themselves, I should say, as true to themselves. In other words, the focus is on presentation rather than connection. Mid-zone writers typically lack self-worth. Their inner voice tells them, I am worthless and must excel in order to be seen as worthy. This is the reason why they write neat, controlled, and avoid making mistakes by being perfectionistic. Their mindset is, you need to see me as conventional, better than, and a success. The downstrokes in the personal pronoun I end with a leftward bend. This is marked by the red arrow. This implies self-castication and self-blame. This is especially important in the mid-zone, which is the social zone. These writers feel unconscious guilt and self-condemnation. They tell themselves, I'm not good enough and people do not appreciate me. It's these type of things. This is, of course, in line with the mid-zone writing for the need to be acknowledged. The crossbars in the A and H are bottom dwellers. The height of the crossbar is linked to self-esteem and self-worth. This is the same principle as T crossbars in cursive T's. This middle-aged man feels utterly unworthy. The pulling back of the final stroke in the U's and N's implies insecurity regarding what to think and indecision. These writers rely on others to help them decide what to do. This is the inner conflict, as he wants to be completely independent, but is unable to decide without external validation. People who write the same letter in alternative sequences readily adapt to circumstances and others. They are prone to be chameleons. This is in line with the false facade printing as these writers tend to adjust to what they believe others want to hear. We can see that both H's are written in a different sequence. <laughs> 